Hi everyone, my name is Andrew and I'm from ActiveChat.ai. We have been building chatbots for our customer for almost a year now and we often use ChatFuel for simple projects. We also use Dialogflow to provide natural language processing for these chatbots. But it has been always a pain in the head to integrate Dialogflow to ChatFuel so that we can use ChatFuel's block builder with Dialogflow's intents. To solve that issue, we have created an instrument that we call Integrator, and uh, since we are rolling this out for general public today, I would like to introduce that instrument to you. What it does, actually it's a simple tool that will let you connect any block within ChatFuel to any intent in your Dialogflow agent. And here's how it looks like. After visiting the main page for Integrator website, you can click free sign up and then authenticate yourself with Google. This authentication is needed to access your Dialogflow agents and intents within that agents. When you press Add Bot button, you can see a new bot window. Here you can select any agent that you have in Dialogflow. For example, let's select AC Integrator Test and give that bot a name and maybe some description. When you press Connect, you can see that this bot is added to your panel. And now you can go and edit that bot. To connect your Dialogflow agent to your ChatFuel bot, we use a thing called port. And this is a unique link that is listening to events sent by JSON API from ChatFuel and sending these events to Dialogflow for processing. When you are on this agent editing page in Integrator, you can click on this link to get the link copied to your clipboard. Then you just go to your ChatFuel bot. For example, let's use integrator test. And you'll be using default answer block to add a JSON API that will be sending requests to that port. So let's remove this for a moment. And you can add JSON API plugin here, paste the URL that you have in your clipboard and change type from get to post. And then you should select in user attributes field last user freeform input attribute to send the value of that attribute to Dialogflow. Actually, that's all. Now you can go back to your bot editing window and connect some intents to your chat fuel blocks. To do this, you just go to any block you like. For example, let's say we want to connect hello block to our greeting hello intent in Dialogflow. To do this, I just click and select the name of this block, press Ctrl C to copy it, and paste it here into greeting hello. You can see that now we have a red line connecting our ChatFuel block to our Dialogflow intent. When you press save, that line becomes green, and that means that now this ChatFuel block is connected to your Dialogflow intent. Let's move on and connect some more blocks to our Dialogflow intents. We'll be connecting by block to our greeting by intent. And we'll also be connecting get me pizza block. Don't forget to select the whole block name and pasting it into order pizza block name. Now I press save and that red indicator here becomes green. And that means that uh, now my intents are connected to chat fuel blocks. If you are curious about intents that I use, it's greeting by that is triggered by see ya, see you, bye bye, ciao, bye, and so on. And I'm using greeting hello that is triggered by how are you, hello, hi there, and so on. And I also have order pizza intent that is triggered by get me pepperoni or get me margarita or get me pizza or something like this. We'll get back to entities later in a moment. So now when everything is green here, you can go to Facebook and check your bot there. This test bot is connected to our test page, New DM Pizza, and I'm pressing send message now and get started. And right now I can see this uh, default uh, greeting from ChatFuel. Hi, username, nice to meet you. And this is here, welcome message. Hi, first name, nice to meet you. So let's try some intents now. Hello. And we see hi there, Ivan. 
and Hydra is from this hello block. You can see that uh, if I click setup AI, I don't have any rules here, so this automation is done completely by Dialogflow to chat fuel integration. If I say something like bye, this bye bye intent is triggered. Let's remove this show typing so that it doesn't slow us down. Actually, I would like to connect one more intent, this default fallback. fallback. Sorry, I didn't quite get that, let's try once more. So I'm going back to my intents list. By the way, you can see all your bots here in bots menu. And I press this and I have this default fallback intent from Dialogflow. And I will be connecting this to default fallback block within chat view. I'm pasting the name of the block, press it save. Okay, let's see how it works in Facebook. And type some Abra Kadabra. And we can see that the, our default fallback was triggered nicely. So let's get some pizza. And we can see that Another intent that is called get me pizza was triggered by my intent from Dialogflow. And here it is, intent order pizza. Let's get back to entities for a moment. Uh, actually, it's quite nice to have some entities in your chat fuel blocks uh, to work with uh, user parameters, user attributes. So we have made uh, entities values uh, transfer from Dialogflow to chat fuel as user attributes. You can see here I have one entity, its name is pizza type and currently we just have two pizza types, pepperoni and margarita. And I have intent order pizza that is using this entity pizza type as a parameter. So I can type get me pizza and I will have uh, pizza type intent, uh, sorry, uh, order pizza intent with pizza type empty and I can say something like get me margarita and I will have pizza type set to margarita and intent again to be in order pizza. To use that in chat fuel I will be using the attribute pizza type. The attribute is uh, the same name as your entity name in dialog flow. So if I add this pizza type here and in Facebook I try to say something like get me margarita we can see that it works like a charm and now I have fresh hot margarita pizza for me let's see how it's set up in chat fuel and fresh hot pizza type for first name okay getting back to bot control panel you can press bots and see your bots here and some statistics for you. Uh, total number of intents that you have in this agent and the total number of intents that are connected. We can see that there are four intents connected to chat fuel block of total of five intents. And we have seven requests today, seven requests per week and seven requests in total to that port. In case you change your mind, you can always remove your port and start from scratch. And you can definitely you can add more intents. For example, if I add another bot and say it will be small talk, and I'll be using an agent small talk, for example. I press connect. And we have 86 intents here, so it's quite a big list. Anyway, you can use your chat fuel blocks to provide uh, very easy and short responses to these intents. This integrator service that we provide uh, is offered as is and it is completely free to ChatFuel community members on Facebook. So please feel free to use it, to test it and uh, maybe to get some feedback uh, about what else would you like to be implemented here. And uh, stay tuned to our forthcoming integrations with WooCommerce, uh, 3D Card and uh, other useful plugins for ChatFuel. Have a good day, see you, bye bye.